Hello everyone, Shanna Bauman again, your Usborne Books and More consultant. In this video, I want to show you some books that Usborne has that matches up with CC Cycle 2. We have tons, 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 and this video is going to focus on just the books on the World War. We have a lot about World War I and World War II, and so I wanted to do a separate video to show you those books. This is our big daddy book, The World Wars. This is a hardback book. This is $25.99. It is probably one of our more expensive books, but it is huge and it is a great resource. So even your um, Challenge A, Challenge B, all of your Challenge students could probably use these when they discuss it. It's definitely geared for them. Um, so I'm going to show you a few pages inside this book. This is hardback, like I said. And one of the things that we um, pride ourselves with at Usborne is books being internet linked. So right here, this box right here, if you can see that, um, it says internet linked. So it tells you go to this website and then you can find more information about this topic. So sometimes they'll show you a video clip, they'll give you more articles, all different kinds of things. So a lot of our books are internet linked or internet um, referenced, another handy tool for you so your kids can browse safely online. So this book, let me show you just a few more pages. Look at this, Hitler's Germany. I love it. I love reading these things with my kids. Um, the Siege of Leningrad. Once again, this book has so many things and it is for lots of different ages. Um, your challenge students are gonna love this one. So the World Wars, it is a combined volume. So it's got information about World War I and World War II. Combined volume, World Wars, and it's internet linked. You can't beat that. Okay, next is The Sea Inside. This is another flat book, Sea Inside the First World War. Lots of fun. I use this a lot with my eight-year-old where that bigger book um, might be a little bit more than he can handle. These are great little snippets of information. Look at those pictures. How awesome is that? And then he's able to um, lift these flaps if I can get it and see what's up there. Okay, lots of fun um, things. I just love this page and these graphics. Um, the ships that are used, um, the airplanes that are used, so many things about World War I. Once again, hardback book, $13.99 for this one. You can't beat that price for hardback, um, sturdy book. And like I said, you your kids are not gonna tear these flaps off. If by chance they do, we do have that replacement policy of 50% off. So I can get you your books um, at a discount if something was to happen. So definitely work with an Usborne consultant. And then next, we have these fun cards. Second World War, First World War cards. These are great if you're traveling or they're sitting in a doctor's office, you've got an appointment or they're at their sibling sports practice and they have to sit there. These are just fact cards. Look at these. My eight-year-old loves these, um, kind of like our timeline cards, but um, they can see some pictures. Look at this. Okay, so the front is a picture and then the back is info about it. Okay, do you see that? And then look at this, this little car, little Daimler Scout car, it says, and then different facts. Okay, um, tanks, all kinds of fun things. There's the airplanes. Um, let's see what else is in here. Look at this, look at this rocket. And then they can flip it over and read about this rocket. Where was it used, what time period, the length, the speed. So much fun. So be sure to grab these cards, Second World War and First World War. Can't beat it, they're only $9.99 for these cards. Great size for your bag or their bag. And then next, I love that we have so many sticker books. You guys are probably familiar with us born sticker books, but we have some about the World War. Isn't that great? So this first World War sticker book is so neat because they're gonna be able to use this as a book afterwards. This one has a lot of history to it. Um, so all of these grayed out areas, can you see that right here? This grayed out area, that's where a sticker's gonna go. So back here in the back, you can see the stickers, okay? So they're gonna take these off and put them in the book on one of those grayed out areas, okay? And then there's information about, about that, okay? So they can read this, put the sticker on, and then keep this book. 
then it kind of becomes a book that they can reference, a reference material. So how neat is that, that they're using their hands, putting stickers on, and then they have a handy reference book. Similar is this First World War and Second World War. These are the dressing kind of books where they're putting their clothes on, their outfits and things. Let me just show you a little bit of this. You're probably familiar, but um, let's see here. So here's a page of the outfit. Okay, so I'm going to take this out. I like to tear this page out for them so they could put it right next to the page they're working on. And look at this, in the trenches. So a little bit of text here. You see that? A little bit of text. And then they're going to get those clothes and put them on these guys. Lots of fun for them. Um, think, oh, look, here's the stickers for that page in the trenches. So um, lots of fun. They're learning as they're having fun, and they don't even realize that they are doing schoolwork. And I love that about us Born Books and More, that we have so many resources for them. They're having fun at the same time. These are truly engaging, and your kids are going to want them. So lots about the world wars. So I hope that was helpful for you.